hi friends welcome to this class so in this video we are going to discuss about the stereochemistry of phosphorus compounds right stereochemistry of phosphorus compounds right so what is the stereochemistry right so we, till now we have studied the stereochemistry of nitrogen there we saw that this nh3 right nh3 ph3 ash3 all this belongs to nitrogen family nitrogen what all nitrogen belong nitrogen phosphor arsenic antimony and bismuth all these belongs to nitrogen family and i i told that these compounds like uh, nh3 ph3 ash3 sbh3 bh3 here these compounds these form phosphor to these compounds we call it as dragose compounds dragose compound because if you see the hybridization they won't exhibit sp3 hybridization all these things i have discussed here nitrogen nh3 it is sp3 so it is pyramidal in shape right so it will be like this so uh, it's energy or uh, energy for uh, inversion pyramidal inversion will be very less right because of which at, but at room temperature if you see at room temperature the energy will be 20 kilo calorie per mole 20 kilo calorie per mole whereas for uh, nitrogen it's uh, this ammonia is the right it's pyramidal inversion inversion energy it requires only 2.3 into 10 to the power sorry 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 uh, energy will be very less around it is uh, very less uh, it is around 5 kilo calorie per mole so at this temperature that is at this room temperature the energy is very high so it will have 2.3 into 10 to the power 10 uh, frequency are you uh, understanding oscillation frequency it will be having means this much times it is going to convert or this much time it, it is going to invert from this uh, to this thing like this it is going to convert at room temperature how many times it is 2.3 into 10 to the power 10 so many times right so here through a transition state all these things we have discussed right so you know all those things and here if you see the hybridization of this nitrogen it will be sp3 in one of its transition state it will be sp2 it is planar because of which uh, planarity sorry because of which it will be optically inactive right because as it is planar so this is nothing but our pyramidal inversion we call right again we will get this sp2 sp3 nitrogen right but uh, as i told uh, in these compounds, dragose compounds, NH3, PH3, ASH3, which I have shown it here, dragose compound, there, if you see the hybridization of phosphor, it is having lone pairs and three sigma bonds. We expect sp3, but its a hybridization, if you say actually, it is not sp3, because here these compounds doesn't form any hybridization. Hybridization, no hybridization, we can call it the lone pairs on nitrogen will not participate in hybridization no participation so what happens see if this is the phosphor so this is s orbital and this is p orbital s orbital will have lone pairs like this p orbital will have like this right so p there are three orbitals px py pz so if i want to represent this is a x axis y axis and z axis all are perpendicular if you see all bond angle here like this it is all 90 degree 90 degree right so if you see in P ph3 uh, the shape will be like this only one hydrogen two hydrogen three hydrogen if you see bond angle between all those things it will be 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree and lone pairs will be there on nitrogen like anywhere like lone pairs will be there right so here no participation of uh, these lone pairs so if you see in one of its transition state this structure will be planar if you see its bond angle 
it will be 120 degree so ammonia was sp3 its bond angle will be 109 degree so from 109 degree to 120 degree it can easily convert because the difference is around uh, how much 11 11 degree but uh, here in ph3 the bond angle is 90 degree so 90 degree to 120 degree it is very difficult so we require more amount of energy so if you see the energy diagram for this so this is the energy diagram for ammonia here ammonia will be like this and here the ammonia becomes inverted like this right so these two are the energy levels of this uh, ammonia inversion and here if you see it is the transition state we call in which the shape will be like planar in which nitrogen hybridization is sp2 right so here the nitrogen hybridization will be sp2 whereas here in both the case it is sp3 and sp3 right so this is the energy diagram for ammonia whereas speaking of this phosphor it will be like like this if you see the height also increased height is also increased and the width is also increased so this barrier energy barrier i can call barrier for energy barrier of ph3 is very very high than nh3 ammonia the reason i have told ph3 bond angle will be 90 degree 90 degree to 120 degree very difficult whereas in case of ammonia it is 107 degree to 120 degree it will be very easy right so this is the thing so if you see energy barrier so this is for phosphorus so here phosphorus will be like this all right and here inversion so it is like this it is now inverted this thing all i have explained in the first class only first two two videos right and here there will be transition state in which phosphorus will be in planar structure like this so this is the transition state energy so this is energy diagram here on this axis we will take energy and here we will take reaction coordinate right here we will take reaction coordinate right so this is what we have studied so we are discussing st uh, stereochemistry of phosphorus compound so let me give you this introduction right and also i told so these things we have studied so let us see uh, rate of inversion rate of pyramidal inversion it is called pyramidal inversion sometimes it is called as oscillation so no need to get confused between these right for for nitrogen like nh3 let me compare ph3 ash3 here if i want to tell you so here you saw for this is nh3 right so this was nh3 and this was for ph3 and for ash3 still it is bigger bigger in length bigger in width right so as we go down the group like this the energy the energy of uh, oscillation or pyramidal inversion increases as energy increases it means pyramidal inversion decreases right this is how you should remember so if you see the frequency this ammonia let us talk for this this ammonia we have right so if you see the frequency of uh, pyramidal inversion frequency of oscillation it will be so high that it is 2.3 into 10 to the power 10 this many times it will oscillate right whereas for uh, phosphor phosphine ph3 it is observed that it is 5 into 10 to the power 6 right so if you just compare 10 to the power 10 and 10 to the power 6 so less it is for phosphor still for arsenic if you see the frequency of oscillation it is just 16 into 10 to the power 4 so see how small it is so initially it was 10 to the power 10 from here it is 10 to the power 6 now it is 10 to the power 4 right so this is what we observe right so this is the thing once we understood all these things uh, let us see few more concepts like see in case of phosphor this is ph h h right phosphor so here the inversion frequency inversion 
sorry frequency of inversion inversion if you, it is 5 to 10 to the power 6 right just if i increase the mass or of these substitutions like uh, if i take like phosphor with deuterium like this d d and d now if you see inversion the frequency of inversion it is observed that 6 into 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 so what you observed so here the oscillation of frequency is little higher in case of pH 3 compared to PD 3 because it is 10 to the power 3 only so see 10 to the power 3 is very small than 10 to the power 6 so here less inversion less inversion is happening less inversion here more inversion so what you can observe if you uh, increase the atomic mass of the substitution the rate of inversion will be decreases why rate of inversion is decreased because energy of inversion will increase if it is for hydrogen it will be for deuterium as energy increases breadth and the width so the rate of inversion decreases here rate will be high rate will be high here rate will be low like this you can understand right so this is the basic introduction to stereochemistry of phosphors but uh, you you can understand all these things but in exams they are going to ask about the reactions 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 of phosphorus and its stereochemistry that let us see in the next class till then take care have a great day